Hey, this is Sandra McCracken. Thank you for joining me. Um, we are have spent some days talking about songs and scripture leading up to Christmas. So today's today's theme is um, is called "I Want My House Full," and the song is called "Go Tell It on the Mountain." Um, it was really fun to record this old song um, and to sing it together in the room. And uh, the lyric is really simple: "Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere." Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. And I have come to love simple songs more than the wordy, complex songs because they keep me coming back to the center. So the scripture reading today is from Luke 14, verse 22 through 24, and this is the Message Bible. Master, I did what you commanded, and there's still room. The master said, then go to the country roads. Whoever you find, drag them in. I want my house full. So this is just a little segment from a larger story where um, where there's an invitation to come to a huge feast and the people that were first invited didn't want to come and so then more people were invited and then finally he said just go bring anyone who wants to come in. So the invitation's been set wide and it's the same with Christmas, with Advent as we anticipate um, the birth of Jesus. Every year we come back to this place of um, making space. First you have to kind of make space in order to have that space filled. So um, I would say that a lot of times in our modern culture um, it's we get a little bit uncomfortable with what it means to share our faith and there are consequences. Sometimes there's persecution. Sometimes it's just like social awkwardness. But when I hear this old song it helps me and, and this scripture it kind of the combination of those two things are really good prompts for me that keep me, um, that remind me that it is, um, we've been invited to a huge feast and it is not that we are throwing the party and everyone else has to come because it's all on us to figure this out. But Christ is the host and we are his guests. And with that in mind, um, if you were invited to, you know, your favorite bands playing and you have all access passes and you can give them to anybody you want, there would be this, um, enthusiasm to run out and to call as many people as you can that you would want to bring into that place to do that experience and have that experience together in the same way we have been invited to um, just more of a lavish feast than we could even imagine and the more we experience that the more we are um, inspired to then share it so um, yeah, like here with Luke on the hillside and later in Jesus' story about the party, we see um, an exuberant father who's throwing a party and inviting all the neighbors.